Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at another example of running a hypothesis test for a population proportion. So two math professors and their students spun a particular coin 250 times. It landed on heads 140 times. One of the professors concluded that the coin was minted asymmetrically. A representative from the mint where the coin was made said that the result was just by chance. Is the math professor or the representative from the mint correct? At a significance level of 0.01, test the math professor's claim that the coin is not fair. All right, so writing a set of hypothesis statements. Now here we have to know what do they mean by the coin is or is not fair. Well, a fair coin should land on heads about half the time, or its percentage of heads should be 0.5. That's what it means for a coin to be fair. Here, the math professor is claiming that it is not fair. So we'll write an alternative hypothesis of zero, or p is not equal to 0.5. So that means when we set up our test, we're going to be looking at a two-sided hypothesis test here. With alpha at 0 0.01 in each tail, we will have half of that. So 0 0.01 over 2 or 0 0.005. That's what will be in both tails. So finding our Z critical value for each of those, knowing it will be the same, just one positive, one negative, you can use a Z table or you can use inverse normal, however you like. Either way, your critical value should be negative 2.576 and 2.576. And then we need to calculate our test statistic. So our test statistic will be p hat minus p over the square root of p times 1 minus p all over n. So p hat will be the number of heads that was found in the sample. That will be 140 divided by the number of times the sample was run, 250. So 140 divided by 250 is 0.56, or 56%. So 0.56 minus 0.5 divided by, notice again this is p, not p hat, so this will be 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5 all over the square root of 250. Doing that calculation, we get a test statistic of 1.897. So seeing where that falls in terms of our rejection region, 1.897 might be about here. So that is not in the rejection region. So we are going to fail to reject which means we would say there is not enough evidence to reject the claim that the coin is fair. So there's not enough evidence to reject that this coin is actually a fair coin, so in this case, that would mean that the representative from the mint was correct. It seems like this is actually just by chance. All right, guys, that does it for this video on hypothesis testing for population proportion. Check us in the next one where we look at an example like this using our p-value method. Until then, we'll see you next time.